We've received another video. Hey y'all, Tom, MD3N here, just hanging out and waiting for you to join me in a ham shack chat. This time we're going to take a look at using the RT Systems radio programming software to program an ICOM ID51A. This HT is a VHF and UHF 2 meter, 70 centimeter FM rig with GPS, APRS, and D-Star digital voice modes. Now, if you have any questions, concerns, or just want to say howdy, please leave a remark in the comments. Before we get too far into this video, let's make sure of what flavor of the ID51 you have. You'll note that on the front panel, or right up here where it says it's an ID51, that's all it tells you. There are several flavors, so we're going to verify which one that you have. We'll talk more about this when we get to the RT Systems download page. To verify what kind of ID51 you have, we're going to remove the battery pack. You do that by pushing these two little knobs down and just pulling the battery off. On the back of the radio, previously hidden by the battery, you'll see the model. So this is a model ID51A+. Plus. Keep that in mind. Remember. Now just replace your battery back on there and it just clips in like that and we're ready to move on to the next step in the process. This is the RT Systems radio programming software main page. And you can see there are a number of different manufacturers here. And one of them is ICOM, which is the company that makes our handheld ID51A. Now, using the information you got before, you know that I have an ID51 Plus. So I'm going to open this, and you can see that if you need the cable, it's $49. And your options here, once you open those up, is to simply pick either a Windows electronic download, a Windows CD, which will cost you an extra $750, or a Mac electronic download. Now I can click here under more details and it'll bring this up, which is going to give me a lot of really good information. And note right here, it says the ICOM 51, 51 Plus Anniversary Edition, and 51 Plus 2. And be sure to install the one that matches your radio. Getting back here, I'm going to back up a little bit. If you already have the cable, for example, this is the same cable that's used for the mobile rig, the 5100 mobile rig. That cable will work with this rig and vice versa. If you don't need the cable, come here to the programming software only for the ID51 and 51 Plus. You know, you, again, select your options, which is, for me, it's going to be an electronic download, and it asks you to confirm that you already have the cable. So they're, they're making sure you're going to get the right thing. So I'm going to not add this to my cart, but when you're ready to go and download, your cart will show up. And I assume that you already know how to download and install software on your computer. Now, if you have a previous version of this, you want to come up here to support. You want to make sure you have the latest version. So that's version 5. And to update that, you would click here. You'll download it and install that. If you've forgotten what your serial number is, well, they've got that information for you. So what you do is come down here to the bottom one. That's an electronic order of version 5 and purchase directly. You come here, you put your email in there, click on forgot my serial number, and you'll note that the serial numbers have been sent to your email address. That is for every RT Systems piece of software that you've actually downloaded. And again, I trust that you know how to install from there. Now that we have your RT system software installed on your computer, 
let's put it to use and do some basic programming of the rig. By the way, all RT system radio programmers are based on the same principles using the same database, which is proprietary to them. It might look like Excel or Access, but it is not. They only differ between radios by any special functions of each radio. So, if you learn one flavor of this software, you can easily figure out how to use all flavors of this software. If you're learning something so far, or at least enjoying this a bit, please take a moment and pop that thumbs up icon and give me a like. I, I would like to do it again. So we want to start off with a clean rig. No pre-programming, nothing like that in there. So we're going to do a reset and we start that by turning on our rig. That's the turn, that's the power button on the side. Now I'm going to go into my menu and I'm going to scroll down where it says others. That's the very bottom menu. We select that by pushing the bluish button inside and I'm going to click on reset. Now you have a choice of a partial reset. A partial reset will reset the operating settings to their default values, but we're going to select an all reset. And it asks you to verify you want to do an all reset because it quite literally is going to put this back to full factory settings. And it asks you a second time, do you really want to do this? No take backs, pardon off. <laughs> yes. Now one more thing that we want to do while we're here and this is for convenience. You can wait till later to do this, but we're going to go ahead and go back into our menu. And I'm going to go down and find my station right here. I'm going to enter into that. And I'm going to go into my call sign. From here, we're going to come down here to this corner and where you'll see quick speech. Enter that. And I'm going to select edit. At this point, you can use your knob up here on top. And I'm going to enter my call sign. You push the CS selector. That moves you to the next number. And I'm just going to zip on through this. Repeatedly press the CS selection. And I'm going to put my name in here. And once you get there. You get a little dizzy. <laughs> Press the enter button again, and that will now be stored. And you can get out of the menu setting by just pushing menu, and you'll be back to your main page. Now that you've got your ID51 programmer downloaded and installed, I think it's the last window of the install program where you can select put a shortcut on my desktop. If you did, then you've got these two programs here. The one I'm going to use is the ID51. If you've got another flavor of the ID51, then you'll use this one. One thing that I do to maintain some control over all these icons over here is I've put a ham radio folder on my desktop. We'll go ahead and open that. And you see I have radio programmers. And let just let me move this over. And I'm going to take this ID51 and I'm going to slap it into my radio programmers. This one, since it's a shortcut, I'm going to delete that because I'm not going to be using it. Now let's go ahead and open up this shortcut. And the RT Systems software comes up. This is the default stuff that's there. And we're ready to start populating. The first time you turn on your RT systems, you will find that it's going to want you to do a download from your from your radio. For if you try to do anything else, if you try to do an upload, it'll force you to do a download first. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up to my communication settings. I'm going to say get data from radio. Now, you see I have my radio turned off. You just follow these instructions. And these instructions will be different for different radios. 
we're going to insert the cloning cable into the data jack. The data jack is located here on the side. You got a little rubber thing that pops up. So you pop that up. The bottom one is for charging your radio or DC in. And this top one is where you want to put your cloning cable. The other end of my cloning cable is already plugged into my computer. Now we're going to turn the radio on. And that's over here on the side. And now I'm going to click OK to receive data from the radio. And we'll fast forward through this. And you'll see that I have a bunch of stuff already populated here. We've got a fresh rig. I'm going to show you how easy this software is to use. Share information between different flavors of RT systems. And then how you can upload it all to your rig. And let me ask another favor of you. Please share. i share. This video with your friends in the local ham community and on any social media sites you may frequent. Your rig is in your hand, the software is on the computer, but, and don't ask me how I know, the programming cable has a tendency to disappear. So you want to find a good place to store your cable, or cables if you have multiple instances of the RT system software, for multiple radios. That way they'll always be available when you get busy programming. This is what we just downloaded from the rig. I'm going to go ahead and delete these two things because they're kind of defaults. So this is what we created just a little bit ago. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Scroll down. There we go. I'm going to copy this. Go back to where I had downloaded and it's blank. I'm going to right click and paste. So these are duplicates of each other. And now I'm going to go ahead and send my data to the radio. I get the pop-up, turn the radio off. Yep, got the cord in. Yep, turn the radio on. And click OK to send data to the radio. And I will fast forward through this. And that completes the upload. And I'm going to go ahead and sh turn this radio off because it told me to right on the radio. It said, turn it off. And just one more thing to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. So you see right now it's untitled. So I'm going to go to file, save as. You see, this is my old file in there. And you can have as many of these as you want. If you want to have one just for supporting community events, you can have one for community events. I'm going to put down, it's my ID 51A locals and digital voice. Save that and we can go ahead and close this. My goal in doing this video is to show you how easy and intuitive the RT Systems radio programming software is. Now as a disclaimer, I don't work for RT Systems, nor are they providing any kind of sponsorship or remuneration. I got no money, I got no time, I got no job, I got no chance. For this video, I am, however, a fan. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. As always, I'm at your service. This has been another ND3N Hamshack Chat. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out. Go home. <laughs>